the school, right? Oh, yeah, I think Ooh. I will give it. Hey! Oh, you are the. What's the next? Oh. <laughs> the smart Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rated. Today, we will be rating the top 30 Netflix shows that you guys chose during our Instagram post. How often do you guys watch Netflix? Embarrassingly often. <laughs> what is your favourite genre? Is it gay drama? Honestly, right, I've watched finish almost all the documentaries. Like, oh. what the planet Earth? Where do people watch? What is wrong with watching Animal Black? Comment down below if you like to watch documentaries and if you are into like, like. <laughs> I think I don't have a favourite genre. I like anything also I can watch. Wait, I think he likes to watch anything that's like ratchet. Like the Easy Cake? Empire. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, okay. Those reality TV shows, right? Like the super trashy one. Got a lot of different like, same type shows that I like to watch. Before we start, we'd like to disclaim as well. First and foremost, I know these are only 30 Netflix shows. Uh, please do not score us in the comments if you never add your favourite. Uh, please comment down below also if you'd like us to rate your favourite. Maybe we can do an on-the-spot rating in the comments. Yeah. Okay, first one. Elite! Oh, I didn't watch. Uh, I got watch. You never watch? Oh, you, you never got I know where, but I got watch. Huh? Um, I watched like 1, 2 and 3 I think mm -hmm. And then I think 4 they changed the cast But I already so invested in like the sex and whatever shit right Then suddenly got new people and I'm like Nah, I don't want to watch it But I think the plot at first, the first few seasons is okay But then when the new seasons came out right Then I always like watch but then my mind maybe somewhere else Then I just like oh okay I think I will give you like a C Or B or C I think put C just because The season 5, 6 or this whatever right mm. Not good at all Not good but to be honest, there was a lot of promise of this elite. I guess now it's not elite anymore. <laughs> a good place. You sound like oh. I watch Abioni. I love. I don't know, there, there wasn't this kind of concept before. I think uh, there's a reason why there's a cult following because the plot itself is very intriguing. Um, there is plot twists and the actors are actually quite funny. I think it's like a. a. Mm. Okay. Oh! Crash landing on you. Oh. Actually, I think we rated this in the previous is it? drama. Is it? What drama. did you rate it? I rated it like an AOS. I have to agree, yeah. The flow was damn good. Like, I've never been like, super invested and like, I can like recommend to my mother. Uh. If I recommend to my mother, it means it's very good. Mm -hmm. This is my first K drama and oh. it got me hooked. <laughs> I will rate it an S2. I think I'll put it at S2. Squid Game! Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> the games have a lot of like surprise elements, especially if you're watching it for the first time. Like, you'll be like, oh my gosh, what's next? And then suddenly, thought of war, but you'll die! One of the reasons why people enjoyed it is also partially because it's quite realistic in a way. Like, that guy, he don't want to throw face, throw yeah. his mother's face. Yeah. So he go and join, like, this game mm. to get back his money. Before I watched Alice in Borderland, I watched it after Squid Game. I like, wow, Squid Game is really good! Then after I watched Alice in Borderland, now I think it's like an A la, for Squid Game. I will give you an S still. I will, in the middle. I, I think it was very relatable, that's why. Are you in debt? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Oh, straightforward, yeah. Maybe. Okay, let's put in the middle, okay? Yeah. Okay, I picked another one that I watched halfway also. Who is it? So oh. Is it? Hey! How come? I don't know, I, I just couldn't get into it. I feel the storyline and the plot was like, okay, invested kind and like, not so boring, not so slow. The characters are all very original. Yeah, I like the first season mm. more, but there were more like character development in season two. I think we use the uh, A B. I don't know which one. B. Yeah. I think B. B. Okay. A show that I've never watched, but I yearn for happiness. <laughs> At first, it feels like the build up was good, but then after that, it becomes too much of the build up. Then like for nothing, they follow a lot of the the side quests. You know, all the like Aww. side side character quests. So yeah. what will you rate it? I will give it a like a C. Got other better zombie movies or shows. The Witcher. Oh, you don't oh. watch. I, I know the one you watch. I watched yeah. the first season. From start to end at the whole time, my face was just like. <laughs> because the whole plot is so difficult to follow, I remember. This one is, I think you have to be a little bit of a fan of the game first, yeah. then an, like a casual watcher. Yeah. I will give this like a B. I will also rate it a B because although I enjoyed it, Everything was a blur after a while. B for blur. Yeah. <laughs> Emily in Passeris. <laughs> I actually 
actually did not watch. Ah, oh, really? Oh. Actually, you're not missing out much. Okay, it's predictable, but it's also somewhat feel good. Mm. Um, I do like season one better than season two. I think the only part of season two that I like is that one part where they sing the BTS song. That's all. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> sing the BTS song. I think it's like a... Yeah. Okay, it does its job, ah, but then, like, if it, is it a good show? Yeah. It's like you enjoy or not? I, I like okay lah. You middle, middle, middle of B and C. Yay! Yay! At least important. So S S as of today, <laughs> season two will come out tomorrow. Woo! I feel more for the characters in Alice in Borderland than in Squid Game. Like, I feel more like I can wow, I can really feel the emotions through the screen, that kind of thing. The main character is super hot. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He is cute. This is the first show right, that I so invested that I want to read the manga. Yeah, me too. Oh. But then my friend say don't. He said it's very, it's like a baby hole. Money heist. I didn't yeah. watch the Korean version. Oh, is it? This is the inferior <laughs> version. <laughs> <laughs> this is the copy. Okay. Go out oh now. What the hell? Like the first few seasons, it was like actually quite legit uh, mm. heists. It's slower, but it's essential. It's not bad. You yeah. need to know that slow part Correct. in order to understand like the big picture. Once you like go through the slow, so then you like, yeah. <gasps> wow, yeah, got then... them! Oh, oh. <laughs> I think you already rated S. No, I wouldn't say S. I would say A. I think the reason why it's not an S is because they couldn't keep up the momentum of like keeping it at a high. Never have Ooh. I ever. Oh, oh I didn't watch. I understand why you wouldn't watch. I think it's a bit more young. <laughs> the like story is like you must be like. Say, Excuse yeah. me. How to watch? <laughs> oh yeah, you watch ah. Uh. It's very like preteen like coming of age. Correct, like correct, correct, correct. But it's it does its job and I I enjoyed it a lot. I I also like how. The cast was a bit more different. We stand diversity. What is it? Eh, I stand out. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what is it. Yeah. Eh. I also like it. Okay. Change okay. this. Oh. I was intrigued, but then after that, I don't. I, I maybe I don't really like how slow it was for me. It was damn slow. Yeah. It's extremely slow. You put on three times, also no use. But change this got no like uh, kissing other people mm. that kind of thing. It's very talking. It's huh? a lot of talking. Mm. For what? Then like suddenly got the girl cries. <laughs> Like that, 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 that. Like, huh? Honestly, I'll rate it like a C. I would also rate it as C. And they also have like a panel, like more with love, you know? In case you haven't watched it. Like, a great panel. Yeah, I like the oh. Chinese girl in the panel. <laughs> she damn savage. I don't know if I would call her empathetic. Without the EM. <laughs> Oh. Lucifer. He's the demon one. Lucifer. Yes. Uh, I did not complete it. Okay. I completed it, but it was not worth it, I think. People watch it for the guy. Yeah, I think yeah. the plot a bit weird. Actually, the detective was also very hot. She them. Then I think it's the whole like push and pull. Like, mm. I don't want you. Then he's like, ah, I'm gonna chase you. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's the appeal. I think I will give it like a B because actually it was not bad until like they again with every sequel. Like, it's either a hit or miss like that. Is it on par with uh, Emily in Pass Race? Yes, yeah, actually. Uh, Emily in Pass Race. <laughs> Lucifer. All of us are dead. Okay, this is the better zombie show. Oh, you didn't watch? Uh? I mean, I'm surprised. The storyline is like based in a school, right? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I remember is that the female lead was so irritating. She only has one expression, which is like... <laughs> I felt like it was good because it has every element and every character a zombie show needs. I would rate it like a high B or A. Yeah, I think I would give it an A lah. Eh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Not the... Inventing Anna. See, I never watched this one. I don't watch. Basically, she got into the inner circle of ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. the elite people in like New York or whatever, right? Yeah, just by lying to people. Mm. And she can lie very well. Oh, yeah. What's her what's her catchphrase? Ah? I forgot already. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I have no time for you. Like people will ask, like people that. ask like, hey, can you please? I don't have time for this. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. I didn't finish it because it was just too slow. You didn't wow. have time for this. Huh? I did not have time. <laughs> <laughs> I will give this honestly like a C. What's oh, she giving you a C or something like C? Uh, give her Umbrella Academy. Uh, this one I did not complain. Me too. I think I finished the first season actually. I think it was enjoyable. In terms of like superhero superpower shows, they are not like powerful or anything. <laughs> I just I didn't feel hooked. I think there are good parts, but it's like a C for me. Black Mirror! 
I feel like you need to be emotionally mature to watch it because mm. a lot of the stories are very heavy. Mm. It's realistic yet unrealistic at the same time. Correct. Yeah. yeah, it could happen in real life. It's very like your intrusive thoughts come to life. Yeah. I really like a lot. I think it's a really solid nice. S for me. S also. I would recommend it to anybody who likes to think while they watch drama. It will keep you at the edge of your sights. Yes. yes. My name. Oh! This is the fighting one, is it? Yeah. Usually when a female lead, right, is in this kind of action show, right, you can see like, they're <laughs> she really like, she fight with the men, right, and they never like, go easy on her. She was like, a person who's always bullied, then she went on to take revenge. But then I would give it a bit because I found it like, predictable, so mm. that I didn't feel like, very like, super exciting. You know, so you kind of bully, right, then you never become this Damn it lah, it's a scoliosis or something lah, uh, cannot build muscles. <laughs> I will give it just a B, but you will give it A, is it? Yes. So it's In a middle. middle. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yes, I love it. I love Stranger Things. Me too, although I haven't finished the last season. <gasps> Even my phone case is Stranger Things. Thank is you, Kitty Fire Club. Thank you, Kitty Fire. <laughs> Recently, Vecna <gasps> Opa. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they escalated the series, right, to like from small villains, mm. like the flower face. Yeah. And then suddenly now it's the big mastermind that you're like, <gasps> I love the character development throughout all mm. the seasons. Um, I think you said everything. Yeah. Agreeable, yeah. Uh, S. Except S. for the <laughs> Okay, S, S. S. Stranger Things. Oh, I Breaking Bad. I also. It's a cult favorite by him. Oh. I watch. I watch halfway only. I think it is quite long because there's a lot of uh, seasons. Yeah. But I think it's quite a good watch. If you like, if you have the capacity, mental capacity to, you know, take on depressive moods, then should be okay lah. I think it's like a A. High wow. A. I think Breaking Bad is very hard for you to give like anything lower than A because it's such a popular show mm. back then. Kingdom! S! Yes. S! Just put S. What's the next? Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Everything dropped at least once! <laughs> The graphics mm. amazing, the cast amazing, the storyline also amazing. Yeah, they manage to surprise you with every season. Sometimes it feels like the director and like the producer just dragging the series Looking. out. But this one actually has like new developments yeah. and it gets more interesting. Yeah. It's so good that I let my mother watch and she watch and she don't like zombie at all. See, that's mm. why I say the benchmark is if you can tell your mother to watch means it's good already. Correct. The in reasons why. The first season was intriguing. Mm-hmm. Then the next few seasons were like slightly on the slower side. You are your own. Master. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah. No, just put that. Just just leave it. Because D is sad face. Aww. It, was it was popular, popular for a reason because they tried to hit things that were very relevant in that time and even now, yeah. like mental health and all this. Is it B? I think B lah. So how realistic it is to for like all these Gen Z kids to record something on cassette tape? Do you do they even know how to use cassette tape? I know. No, she just tried to be like hipster and all. <laughs> oh, oh singles in Virgil. Singles in Virgil. Singles. Uh, as of now, season two is ongoing. The main point of this show, right? You must have a solid cast. Right? Yes. Then the season two cast is like not that solid. No, no, like haven't yet finished. Maybe got like some twists and turns. And everybody was watching, I think mm. it was super hot mm. and um, it was a very fresh new concept. So I will give that an A. So? Uh, I think it's a A B. In the middle of A B. Yeah. Oh I didn't watch this. I watched like the first 10 minutes of the first oh, episode. Is it? Like not every single detail is inside, but all the more important things that you need to know about his story is there. And then they I think some people say it's a bit slow, but again I think it's the slow that was needed because they need to give mm. the like background. It's a bit gory, but mm. it's popular now, I think. I would rate it like an A B. A B. Oh you. you. <gasps> I love S. I love S. I love S too. Wow. <laughs> Next season, I think season four? It's yes. coming out soon. Wow. Uh, I think that the best season was the first season. Because that is yeah. like the unleashing of the crazy. Yeah. I think it's one, three, then two. three, two. Correct. Because three got love yeah. as an as a accomplice. You should watch it. You, you should, should watch, watch you. <gasps> the Queen's Gambit! Very good! Ah! Never watch. Hey, you missing out, seriously. Yeah, yeah, it's the most boring looking topic ever. <laughs> Chess! <laughs> About like, the struggle as a woman to mm. in a male-dominated game during like the old times. Mm. I would say Queen's Gambit is like a solid S. Yeah. I would recommend it to anybody. It's not just about chess. It's about a lot of other things. 
Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. I think that Wednesday, um, they did quite a good interpretation of like the Adams family. I think it's very difficult to make this kind of shows because it has such a cult following from the eighties mm. yeah. or like eight. No, even the sixties. I think. Yeah. I like this version, but it's very different from. The previous version. I mean, like the the previous version, or at least Adam's Family is like a comedy type thing. Mm. This one is more of like the darkness. I'll give it like a eight. I think I watched it in like one sitting actually. Mm. Seriously, no these. No, I know these are amazing. Business proposal. But y'all all go watch it. Go go go. Ah, you know. Ah! Hey, what the freaks? Business proposal. My appeal to it was it was damn steamy and like. It was damn hot. Huh? Very hot, man. The guy with his glasses. Then he take out the glasses. Then he, then he like just. It's one of those shows where it's like a fun, easy watch. It's yeah. like the a bit airy fairy. Then you know what's gonna happen, lah. But you just enjoy watching it because it's so positive yeah. and it's so lighthearted. I would say like a B. I would, I would say like a B for business. Uh. Yeah, B for business. A turning wheel. A turning wheel. I love it. Eh. I, I like the drawings though. You know what? Okay, it really is very like easy to watch, but with a good plot. Like not at the expense of like uh, the like shitty plot or whatever. It is one of the first times where like somebody with autism, right, is not portrayed in, like a helpless mm. yeah. kind of like situation or like a character, and she's actually quite powerful. She actually uses her brain a lot, like you know, um, as an attorney, and she helps people. I Since the other one watch. Eight. 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 Four. Twenty. The last one is the steamy, steamy Bridgerton. Bridgerton. It has the whole like chase yes. element, whereas a lot of Western dramas, right? You just cut straight to the chase. But also the yeah. their relationship not really romance, romantic. It's like a bit brother, brother a bit. Mm. Then they fight. Enemy. Like... It's like enemies to yeah. lovers. Oh, I will give it like an A. Plus season two, I will drop it to like a B. I will give it a B. B two. We are done! We are done! Woo. This is our list. There's no D's. Yeah, there's no D here actually. <laughs> but I think also because like your choose from the, the IG post and I guess you guys have uh, good tastes. Thank you for watching this episode of Rated. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Bye. Comment down below what are your favorites. Ah, got no time for this.